What's up, everybody? Welcome into Dodgers Daily, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, and today we are breaking down the Dodgers matchup against the Rockies tonight. And we've got the bucket hat on because Tony Gonsolin is back starting tonight for the Dodgers. Uh, Urena taking the mound for the Rockies. That's a 7-10 p.m. start. Dodgers going for win number 111. That would break the franchise's full season record for win percentage. So something to keep an eye on there. But let's get straight into the headline because it's right in front of us. The Catman is back. Tony Gonsolin has not pitched in a major league game since August 23rd. But after one two-inning rehab assignment at AAA Oklahoma City in which he faced the minimum, struck out two, he is back with the big league club for a short start. We're not expecting more than three innings at the most for Gonsolin based on pitch count stuff, but it's good to have him back because it's easy to forget how good this guy was before going down. 2.10 ERA, 16-1 and with a 0.86 whip in 128 and a third innings. Before going down, he had won five consecutive games in the month of August. He had an ERA of .76 across four starts, and the guy has been lights out. Among pitchers with 120 or more innings pitched, he leads the National League in ERA. He leads the National League in whip. He leads the National League in batting average against. The question for Gonsolin is, how quickly can he shake off his rust. Control has typically been a bugaboo for him. And so coming off of just one rehab appearance, two innings at AAA, can he throw strikes? I think that's the key to tonight's game for Tony Gonsolin. Can he be in the zone? Can he throw the changeup for strikes? Can he get the fastball located where he wants to locate it, probably at the top of the zone and running the changeup off of that? That is the key as far as um, Gonsolin's first start back for me. We know this is going to be a start that will be overanalyzed because it's the only one we're going to get to see from him before the NLDS. He'll get one simulated game type appearance in the bye week, but this is the one time we're going to see him before the regular season ends. And so the key to me, again, watch for can he throw strikes? Can he locate pitches exactly where his catcher is asking him for it? And again, the headline though, the good news, Tony Gonsolin is back. On the other side for the Rockies, we've got Jose Urania. Urania, for the, uh, who boasts a 5.24 ERA on the season, a whip of 1.62. That's the fifth worst mark in all of baseball. It's interesting. You look at that list. Who has the worst walks and hits per inning pitch in all of baseball? The Rockies have three of the seven worst marks this season. Urania, Sensatella, and Cool are those three. Uh, he also has the seventh lowest strikeout rate in baseball. So that's a bad combo. Lots of base runners, not a lot of strikeouts. That's what the Dodgers are up against tonight. Uh, historically, Freddie Freeman, he owns them. See, saw him a lot when Urania was with the Marlins. Freeman has a 400 average with four home runs and just 35 career at bats. Trey Turner, on the other hand, just 143 batting average in 21 at bats. One positive for the Rockies is that this guy is in the midst of his best stretch all season. Four outings, his last four outings, 22 innings, six earned runs, good for a 2.45 ERA, 21 strikeouts. He has allowed 32 base runners over that stretch. Uh, as far as game lines, Dodgers, as expected, huge favorites. Minus 350 on the money line, minus 155 on the run line. The total there is 8.5 with minus 110 on either side. Um, looking at this, obviously, we're not touching the money line. Run line is not a bet that I really enjoy making, and so the total is where I would look. And that total is interesting depending on what you think of Gonsolin. If you think Gonsolin's a guy that goes three innings, gives up a couple of runs, then all of a sudden that total is in play because I think the Dodgers are going to score some. Um, you can also parlay the money line, get an alternate total of six and a half, bring that down a couple of runs. That gets you to minus 125. So something to keep an eye on. As for game props, uh, two in a row. Last time we pounded Chad Cool, so we we had some success last time out. But looking at this, um, strikeouts, that's where I like to go first. Uh, I mentioned that Urania has one of the worst strikeout rates in the league. The total is just three and a half. What's interesting is I kind of like I'm the over. That's even money over three and a half, and that's because he's gone over in four straight. He's gone over in five of his last six with more than a strikeout per inning over that stretch. So something to keep an eye on. Gonsolin's number is two and a half. You might think, wow, that's incredibly low, but keep in mind this is a guy who's probably maxing out at three innings. The under on two and a half is plus 105. So if he only pitches for three innings tonight, can he get to three strikeouts? Not a huge strikeout guy to begin with. So that's an interesting one. That's the only Gonsolin number you can bet on. Urania over, or excuse me, the out number of outs recorded is 15 and a half. Under that is minus 165, so too rich for my blood. 
Urania hits allowed four and a half again over minus 165. His earned run number is two and a half. That's minus 130 if you want to bet the over. So last time, as I said, we went two for two, pounding all of the overs on Chad Cool start. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep the streak going on the pitching side, but maybe go a little bit different. I'm gonna take those two strikeout numbers I mentioned. Give me Urania over three and a half strikeouts at even money. Again, strikeout rate ticked up. Four straight, he has gone over that number. Dodgers, by the way, 15 strikeouts as a team last night. And I'll go under on Gonsolin strikeouts. Um, I just think it's an innings pitch limit thing. First game back, maybe a tad rusty, maybe a tad erratic. Maybe doesn't have the command that he needs. I don't think he gets to three strikeouts in three innings. So those are my two picks of the day. Over three and a half strikeouts for the Rockies pitcher. Under two and a half strikeouts for the Dodgers pitcher. That's what we've got. Hey, we appreciate you joining us here on Dodger Daily, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. Again, my name is Jeff Spiegel. Enjoy the rest of your day, and as always, go Dodgers.